I I am very much sure that uh, in future you are going to see a uh, super duper endocrinologist in the form of him. So I am very happy to see 123 online viewers, interactive class, thanks to YouTube guys for providing this. So don't forget, download UMedico every day, whenever I get time, mostly I will take time in the next uh, 90 days to conduct a couple of hours of time spending with you guys, which is the most pleasurable part of my little leftover life. Now, if calcium and phosphate decrease, you call vitamin D deficiency. But if the calcium and phosphate are in different directions, think about parathormone. If you have a high calcium and a low phosphate, then you have primary hyperparathyroidism. If you have a low calcium and a high phosphate, you will think of primary hypoparathyroidism. That's what you have to ultimately remember. That's good. Now, what are the diseases which are because of the problems in oxidation? Cancers, Alzheimer's, coronary artery disease and hemolytic anemia. These are all the important oxidation defect associated situations is what you need to basically remember. So, every Sunday, you take a mock test. It is available both on anatomytomedicine.com and also on the um, UMedico app. You can call to our helpline to enroll into the mock test. We will discuss the 300 questions and uh, every Sunday you should get more and more and more confidence. Every Sunday afternoon 12 to 3 p.m. we have a discussion on all the 300 questions and the question paper will be given to you by early morning of Sunday. You take the 300 MCQ test or at your own convenience either on the mobile app or on the web. I prefer you to take on the mobile app the mock test uh, and 12 to 3 we will have a discussion and try to understand where you are really going wrong. Automatically if you take it on the mobile app we can also give you a artificial intelligence based recommendations on what topics you need to improve quickly in the next leftover days for you to get your scores drastically high. Remember one thing doctor, NEET PG preparation has nothing to do with intelligence. I have seen very very mediocre academic students getting wonderful ranks, very hard working guys, very God fearing guys getting clean bowls in the need PG. Both the things are possible. Then what you need to remember the story is, it is like that Olympic athlete, the first African black athlete, I could not recall his name, uh, I think one of you can type it. There was no trainer for him when Adolf Hitler conducted the first Olympics. Everyone were thinking this black fellow should lose and Germans only should win. But his long jump is longer than anybody else, twice that of the white man. But the only mistake he was doing is, every time he is jumping, he is touching the line. One more time he does that, he will lose the opportunity. And uh, one German friend comes and says, please don't touch that line while you are jumping. Winning and losing in Need PG also is like touching that line. You should know that... What are the areas that I am going wrong? If I improve, no one can stop me from getting into the need PG. You should know and only you know that. And the UMedico app will help you to discover that in a personalized way. Now, vitamin K, what are you going to remember? 2, 7, 9, 10. The wonder numbers don't forget factors which are dependent on vitamin K. And uh, protein C, protein S. What is the paradox? Protein C, protein S are anti-thrombotic. Whereas 2, 7, 9, 10 are pro-thrombotic. Both of them are dependent on the vitamin K. So that is the reason you have to be very careful. 
why do you give warfarin warfarin is anti vitamin k what is the purpose of giving warfarin you are expecting it to be anti coagulant because if you kill that vitamin k all vitamin k dependent clotting factors 2 7 9 10 also will decrease so that the clotting is prevented that is the whole idea but unfortunately anti clotting factors protein c protein s are also dependent on vitamin k that is the reason whenever you give the warfarin in fact what will happen is even before 2 7 9 10 levels come down protein c protein s levels will come first come down first and these anti thrombotic factors when they decrease what will happen there is more pro thrombotic state that will happen that is the reason what is the principle whenever you start the acitrom i mean the warfarin you should be very sure the first 3 days you should also combine heparin along with the warfarin otherwise you are making protein c protein s which are the anti thrombotic factors to fall down first and uh, that will further promote the thrombotic tendency small vessels going to the skin become clotted and that lead to warfarin induced skin necrosis as a side effect of the warfarin if you don't combine heparin with the warfarin in the first 72 hours is what you have to basically remember so vitamin k is made by the gut flora what are all the vitamins which are gut flora dependent for their production vitamin k biotin folate and pantothenic acid they are also the ones which are dependent on gut flora now let us talk a bit about heparin every entrance you go there are 600 high yield topics doctor around 30 35 topics in every subject medicine may there are about 60 70 topics you can go to u medico you can go to the quiz section and you find the subject wise the top 30 35 topics and all 600 topics available you start playing the 10 mcq quizzes more and more and more number of times every time you are playing a quiz on a given topic in u medico app you start getting new questions and you can also see how is your performance on your wrongs and every time you are scoring your skill score keep increasing and depending upon the number of score points your levels will de decide level 1 level 2 level 3 be sure the 600 high yield topics you play the quizzes multiple times and understand that you reach level 5 in all the 650 topics no body can stop you from winning the any exam in the world need pg or uska bab bhi hai to you can be able to still get it us only ho ya koi bhi ho so doctor the half life of heparin is 6 hours and heparin how does it act as a anti thrombotic agent very important question directly it does not go and does anything rather it acts like a cofactor for anti thrombin 3 it will activate the anti thrombin and anti thrombin you can see here anti thrombin is the one which is activated by the heparin and this anti thrombin goes and forms a complex with the factor 10a and 10a become inactive and that is how it prevents the clotting from happening so that is the function of the 